Hello everyone. Hi, I'm Jewel and welcome. Welcome to my channel. The story today is a 72 year old kidney donor hopes to inspire others to do the same. This information is coming from the National Kidney Foundation and I must say when I read this article I was very very inspired because of all the love and compassion that one person gave another. Okay guys, let's get started. Economist and college professor James Dottie, PhD, did the cost-benefit analysis and decided that a healthy 72-year-old man who runs marathons and climbs mountains doesn't need two kidneys and there are too many people in the world who need one. In his analysis, it made sense that he donate a kidney even though he didn't personally know anyone in need. It wasn't the first time that Dr. Dottie, who is known in his Orange County, California community for being a caring educator and Renaissance man, took up the cause of another human being. He has had a storied reputation for making a difference in many people's lives for dozens of years at Chapman University, where he currently teaches and was once a longtime president. But his idea to give him up an organ to a complete stranger did cause concern in his family and some members believed that he had finally gone too far. My daughter thought I was crazy, Dr. Dottie said. I cited the numbers and statistics about the safety and told them there was no real risk. But they still thought I was kind of crazy, except my wife. She was supportive. So in March 2019, Dr. Dottie was rolled into UCI Health Transplant Center after months of testing and donated one of his kidneys. It was decided by the center that Dr. Dottie's gift of life would be transplanted into a 52-year-old man. After the surgery, I was asked if I wanted to meet the person, Dr. Dottie said. Of course I did. His daughter walked in and just hugged me and wouldn't let go. Whatever sacrifice I made was small and it was worth it. The recipient was a father of two, a grandfather who had been on dialysis for a decade. He couldn't work and his quality of life was strained. Today, as a result of Dr. Dottie's gift, he is healthy. And as it turned out, the man had a choice to accept or reject the altruistic donation from a senior citizen, Dr. Dottie said. When he found out that I was a marathon runner, that made up his mind. The two men have become, have since become friends and are now training to run a half marathon together in March of 2020, which happens to be National Kidney Month. Dr. Dottie, who has run about 60 full marathons and 60 half marathons since he took up the hobby about 20 years ago, wants other marathon runners to be inspired to become kidney donors too. He wants other run runners to donate. I'm promoting that runners my age become donors, Dr. Dottie said. They are healthy. They have lived their lives. And why not do this? I want more than anything else for others to make this gift for their fellow human beings. It takes just one kidney to give someone back their life. Two weeks after he made the kidney donation, Dr. Dottie was back on his feet and ran a 5K race. A month later, he ran a half marathon, he said. He is now just beginning to talk about what he has done. His experience inspired the transplant center, as well as where he was first rejected as a candidate because of his age. Recently, he found out that three older people have started the testing process at UCI Health exactly as he hoped. Living donors account for 6,442 kidney donations in 2018, according to the United Network of Organ Sharing, UNOS. About 100,000 people are waiting for a kidney transplant, and sadly, an average of 12 people die every day waiting for a kidney, according to UNOS.
kidney transplant become necessary when a patient's kidneys fail to work to the degree that it can no longer filter the toxins from the body. Dialysis is the only alternative treatment that a transplant is a time and it is a time consuming and challenging treatment. The National Kidney Foundation offers a platform called the Big Ask, the Big Give, where people can learn how to become a living donor. Okay, everyone, this was 72-year-old kidney donor hopes to inspire, to inspire others to do the same. When I first read this article, I was, I was overcome, of course, with gratitude that someone this age was inspired to do this for someone else. Guys, the compassion and the love that this man showed is all over this country. And all we have to do is let people know that we are in need. The National Kidney Foundation, of course, has a platform called the Big Ask and the Big Give for those that want to know how to donate. And for people that are looking for a um, living donor, they have all the information also for you to start the process to look for yourselves. So guys, if you found this article as inspiring as I did, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, always, always sending you so much love and affection. And I want you to know that guys, you're not walking this journey alone. Not at all, because there are so many people out there with so much love and compassion for us as kidney patients. So the only thing that we have to do, of course, is stay compliant with our doctor's orders. Stay positive, guys. Stay hopeful always. And hopefully one day this too shall pass. Maybe not for our generation, but for the next generation coming. So guys, take care of yourselves, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.